Good evening, everyone. This is Theron Jacobson, City of Verona, Director of Public Works. This is progress meeting number nine for the East Side Interceptor MMSD Pumping Station 17 Force Main and the Badger Mill Creek Stream Restoration Projects. This will be the last progress meeting for these projects. The meeting logistics will be very similar to any of the past meetings. We'll take all questions at the end. And the agenda instructions, the presenters uh, will give a schedule update. And primarily that'll be regarding the Badger Mill Creek restoration. Uh, the communication, if anyone has any questions after the meetings, you can just contact me directly. Email would be the best. And then the websites will still be live. So any project information you can still reference on there. And then we'll take questions at the end again. Uh, the presenters, Theron Jacobson here, Aaron McFarland, also the construction engineer. And I have Dane County staff here with Sarah Regelman and Teresa Nelson. We'll give an update on the schedule here. I'll let Aaron tackle that in a slider here. And traffic closures there regarding roadway wise, there's none remaining for the project. The Lincoln Street pedestrian bridge will be closed as we're doing gravel placement in there and then asphalt work. And that'll all be coordinated by signage up on site that has been there for other closures. Aaron, do you want to tackle the schedule? Sure. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, so currently they are working on grading along the, the pipe corridor, uh, getting some of the piles knocked down and, and kind of dried up and getting it to finish grade for and prep for the bike path. And then they are also working on the Dane County stream bank restoration. Uh, currently they are on section uh, B which is from the Lincoln Street channel to kind of the Arbor Vita channel. They have completed section A, the grading work and, and um, the in-stream improvements in section A, which is from the Lincoln Street bridge to the, to the Lincoln Street channel. So beyond that, once they get everything graded and kind of the, the mass grading for the Dane County work done, they are gonna be moving to prepping for the pass, so digging out and placing base course uh, with paving to follow tentatively, or I guess scheduled for October 4th. So they're pushing to hit that date. Um, that may push a day or two. And as, as stuff opens up and our erosion control sub can get on site and it's dried up, we're getting some of the, the areas re restored with seed, either the wetland seed, upland seed, or in the, the turf areas where it's gonna be mowed. Um, there's a little bit yet to do on uh, section A of the Dane County work. Uh, the city of Verona stuff has, stream bank stuff has been restored, but there'll still be restoration ongoing along uh, with the path. And then as they get stuff kind of to final grade. Um, there is a few pipe items left to do. They're gonna have a small crew, pipe crew in here, potentially next week to get the remaining storm sewer and um, existing sewer abandonments done. That's mainly uh, around the Lincoln Street Bridge to the Arbor Vita channel area. I think that's about it for schedule update. All right, thank you, Aaron. Uh, the Dane County stream restoration work, this is a, the same slide from past projects which Aaron went over the areas that they're working in. The improvements are ongoing and moving and there's actually some photos here in the next slide. So I don't know if Sarah or Teresa, if you wanna go over any of these or Aaron, I'm open to either of you talking about any of this. I can talk a little bit and Sarah, you can jump in as well. Um, 
this just shows um, kind of what we did along the bank. So the, the section A that Aaron was talking about, we removed a lot of extra material that had been uh, making the banks very high and steep. And so those banks are graded back and um, sort of the, the top of the bank has kind of been cut off and uh, leveled out. So that will help uh, reconnect the stream to the, the floodplain. You can go to the next one. Sarah, I don't know if you want to talk about this one. Sure, yeah. So this is one of the in-stream habitat features that uh, the project included. Uh, this is a picture of the um, log deflector plus uh, sills that have been installed so far. Um, so basically the purpose of these are to really um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, narrow up the channel and um, create some more, some more depth and kind of start to create some meanders within the existing channel. You can kind of see from this photo how the stream will start to kind of bounce back and forth um, between the log sills. And over time, these will fill in with uh, silt and sediment and start to kind of um, become vegetated, grow in with grass and really create kind of a new inside of a bank. So in the end, the stream will be a lot more, a lot more narrow and hopefully um, deeper too in these sections. Okay, next one. And then uh, another feature for the in-stream trout habitat improvement is the uh, rock deflectors. Uh, so the image in the southeast, in the lower right corner there um, is just an example of, of what that looks like. And again, it'll kind of do something similar to the uh, log deflectors, but using rock instead of um, some of that large um, woody structures. Next one. And this is an example of um, the root wads. So there are a couple of locations throughout the corridor where uh, we'll also be installing some root wads. There are three set of sets of root wads that were installed um, just north of the Lincoln Street Bridge on the north side of the stream so far. Next one. I can take this one, Sarah. This is basically just going over the, the city's work and basically all the work within the city stream bank project limits are completed. That's from basically Bruce Street through the Lincoln Street Bridge. And here's a schematic overview. So Bruce Street is down in the lower left, the Lincoln Street Bridge in the upper right. This figure has been included in the past presentations also. And here's some pictures that Aaron provided. I don't know, Aaron, if you want to go over these on what is included in each. Yeah, this is just kind of a finished picture uh, right by Bruce Street. And there's the bridge there. It kind of shows the, the rock deflector and then the boulder cluster. I included these kind of as they were going in last uh, slide, but now, um, now you can see kind of the finish. We got the EMAT on the banks and mulch has been kind of added to the area, um, their access area and grading area. You can go to the next slide. And then this is just along the corridor from, from County M to the bridge. So this is right by the bridge. This is that, that area that was graded that was sloped back at, we had a four to one slope through here, kind of the same principle, reconnect the, the flood plain. And then we also had the a rock deflector here and then you can't see them but there's boulder clusters kind of in this this area so this area to the i guess on the left hand side of the picture that's part of the pipe corridor which is getting graded as we speak um, and that'll be all restored once the um, once graded and path is completed And then there, there will be some trees that are planted along the project corridor within the city property. So Dave Walker, our parks director, is going to is coordinating that. There will be 
about 25, give or take, that'll be planted this fall. Those will be of non-hardwood species because hardwoods want to be planted in the, in the spring based on direction from Walker and the nurseries. So then we will also plant additional trees in the spring of 2022 along the corridor from Main Street through the Lincoln Street Bridge area. And those locations are Dave is going to work with and identify where those will go out in the field and they will plant those accordingly. And communication, like I said in the intro, this will be the last meeting, but if there are any questions, just feel free to reach out to, to me. My contact info is within this presentation on the city's website. And here's the links to the websites again. None of that has changed. We have updated the schedules on there, but otherwise the all information is status quo. And otherwise we can take any questions if there are any. So let me. Tim. Hi, thanks. I was just looking at the schedule for site activity. It says Hartford on site restoration. I don't, you, maybe you've mentioned those people before, but what are they doing here? Um, yeah, Hartford's the landscaping uh, subcontractor. So they were on site Monday uh, or Tuesday after the rain, doing a little bit of uh, seeding and EMAT. And then they are also going to be back on Friday to kind of finish up the Dane County A portion north of uh, north of the creek and then get some slopes along uh, south of the creek from A to B sections. So they're kind of going to be on site, you know, periodically as as stuff gets finished to, to get seated. Okay, thanks. And then one other question as I was getting ready to join the meeting, I noticed everyone is looking for a a new parks director and forester, or is that some other department? Is no, that Dave is correct. That is correct, Tim. Dave Walker is going to retire yeah. at the end of the year. So I assume the transition to the new person will include whatever plans are in place for this restoration. All the coordination will be completed, and Aaron and I will have the knowledge of everything that's going on too. But Dave will. The goal is to have some overlap with the new successor with with Dave. So they will be they will be brought up to speed. That's all I had. Thanks for holding these meetings, by the way. Yep. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, I'm done. There and there's a question in the um, Q and A. Chat. Okay. So the question was, when do you expect to be able to walk on the Ice Age Trail again after the path is placed? So the, ice, the goal of the Ice Age Trail was to remain closed until they ultimately defined where they wanted the new, their new path to be. And they were going to determine that after the pro, our project was completed. So after all our work is done, the path is in and the restoration is completed so they can get a vision of what is what the corridor looks like when it's done. I'll be engaging with Ice Age Trail staff to start that coordination, but ultimately all that work will be orchestrated by the Ice Age Trail. And if you feel the need, please feel free to reach out to Kevin Thusius at the Ice Age Trail and his contact information is on the screen right here. So I don't want to speak for them, but the path, the Ice Age Trail path, based on last information I had, was to remain closed into 2022. So hopefully that answers your question, Sam. You're welcome. Okay, I don't see any other questions. So thank you everyone for your interest and thank you for everyone that's helped me host these presentations throughout the project and we look for a 
successful completion of this one and everyone have a good evening. Thank you and have a good night. Bye.